do you like that feeling of being scared? I do. I, I do. I mean, I, I think I do when I go to the movies and then, uh, you know, when things start getting really scary in a, in a scary film, I'm like, why did I do this to myself? Uh, it's that feeling of like when you get on a roller coaster and you're like, this is going to be fun. And then right as you're about to go over, you're like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. But I do love that you, it's amazing that just by watching a movie, you watch a movie and your body knows that something is scary happening and so it gives you this legitimate adrenaline rush. You know, I think it's really kind of amazing and primal. I think that's what keeps people going back to scary movies time and time again. Do you even get scared when you watch your own movies that are scary like this one? Would you get scared? I don't know. I, I mean, it's, 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 it's funny because sometimes you're like, oh, well, I remember how we did that, so this isn't scary. But this one is so well made that I find myself getting caught up and lost and forgetting that I'm even a part of it because uh, the tension is so kind of masterfully created by Dan, our director, and the way that it was shot, the way that it was edited, that I find myself forgetting I was even in it. So do you have, like, what is your relationship to, to supernatural things? Do you believe that there's something out there we don't know about? Yeah. Or? I do, I, you know, I believe, I don't have a kind of a hard line, like, I believe this or I believe this. You know, I feel like there are so many mysteries. It's such a big universe, and it's such a mysterious life that to think that we have all the answers is, to me, seems, seems uh, kind of foolish in, in a sense. And uh, you know, I mean, you, you have enough kind of strange experiences w in your life that you can't totally explain, that you can't help but wonder, like, gosh, there there is probably like another plane, another field out there that we don't that we don't have access to, that we don't really know about. So I definitely, I don't know what it is that I believe in, but I I believe in more than just this. Okay, I have three fan questions Great. for you. Okay, so the first one is, if you would have to live in a cellar, mm -hmm. what would you miss the most from the surface and why? Oh, I, you know, this nature, I think, just being outside, uh, just being able to be out in the world, I would miss that. And I would miss also, like, congregating the idea of that you go to a restaurant, you go to a bar, you see people, you kind of feel life that way. I, I, would, I would miss those a lot. Totally, restaurants, for yeah, sure. Yeah, restaurants, right? <laughs> well, who doesn't love them? So which one of you, uh, or three of your actors, yeah. would be the first person to lose patience in um, a cellar? Oh gosh, hard to say. Um, uh, well, just because I don't, I, I, I couldn't speak for John or, or Mary, because um, they seem like pretty patient people to me, I, I'd have to say myself. <laughs> John said himself too. Oh, he did. Yes. Yeah. So you, you two are right. So, yeah, we, yeah, the two of us, we would both be in our corners, freaking out, probably. <laughs> and then the last fan question is: uh, Mary and John are supposed to believe that real evil comes from outdoor, yeah. or your characters. Yeah. But do you believe that slow and hidden evil builds inside us, uh, within the four walls, if you're forced to be among each other? Every day. Yeah, I th that's to me the scarier element. The scarier thing is the is the idea that it's not what kind of otherworldly scary thing could be coming at you, but the fact that it could be your neighbor or could be the person you pass on the sidewalk or the guy sitting next to you on the subway. Like the human element of kind of terror and evil. That's the thing that really that really gets me. And it's always the the guy, the super. What do you call them? The serial killer. He's always like the nice neighbor. Always neighboring. super nice <laughs> yeah. and normal. And yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. That makes my skin crawl. Because I feel like we go through a phase in life, and uh -huh. maybe when we're teenagers, that we're really drawn to scary things. Totally. That's when I got it, when I really got into scary movies was my in, the, in my teenage years. I saw The Exorcist when I was about fifteen, and I didn't sleep for twenty four hours, and I, I couldn't. I, I went. I remember lying down in my bed and staying awake until the sun came up because I was just so terrified to close my eyes and fall asleep. I forwarded like through the whole movie. Sure, yeah, <laughs> like I don't like this part now. So, what is your tips to people that are gonna go and see this movie? Uh, the people that are too a little bit too scared or think they're gonna be too scared. Do you right. have any? I think tips? this. I think this movie falls right in the middle. I, I think that it's not so scary that anyone's gonna have a bad time, but it's you, if if you want to go have a few thrills and chills, like this is a good one to go check out. I think just kind of this is one of those movies where it's good to not know too much. Just go in, kind of strap yourselves in, and take the ride. And have a glass of wine first. And have a glass of wine <laughs> or two or three. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do at the premiere. <laughs>